Okay. All right, guys, so we uh, didn't get to these examples in class, and so here's a uh, little quick little presentation on these things. Um, so let me skip to the next page here. All right, so our first one, we got a spring mass system has a period of three seconds. Okay, now working these problems just like uh, all the other problems we've always ever talked about, you need to have uh, a good picture, okay? That's going to help your brain process what's going on. All right, so we're going to go there and over here. So I've got an M, I've got a K, and we know that M in this case is 0.15. Okay, and we know the period is 0.3 seconds. What we don't know is K. All right, so get all that down on your paper. And then that's going to help your brain um, know what it has to work with. All right. So um, it's like putting puzzle pieces out. All right. You put putting together a puzzle. Uh, it's a picture of something. You got to get all the pieces on the table. Okay. So this thing's going to be going up and down. It's got that period there. And so really this is super straightforward. Uh, we can start with. The, our equation here, all right, which is uh, m over k, just like so, all right. And again, you know, I mentioned this during class. I just try to keep track of one thing, <laughs> all right, and then I usually end up deriving like this, but I'm a little lazy that way. Um, so we know t, we know m, we know k. Now, before I go any further, let me point something out. I hope this. This might seem pretty obvious, but I've got one, two, three bits of information. One, two, three bits of information. Okay, so if you give me two of those, we can find the third. All right, and it doesn't really matter if we're given uh, omega, if we're given t, um, or maybe in some other context, we're given a frequency f. It's still going to be one of these two out of three type situations okay and um, so it'll take a little while but you'll get used to that okay so oh mass I'm gonna need a K value or K I'm gonna need a mass value um, all that so okay so three different little pieces there uh, so let's do our algebra now and um, so I gotta square that okay so I'm gonna have T over 2 pi squared, that's m over k, and throw my k over there, bring my other things over here, and so then k is going to be m onto 2 pi over t squared, okay, and at that point then I'm just going to plug in my numbers, uh, and I don't think I'll uh, do that um, just to save just a little bit of time, you guys can plug in numbers. You're experienced. You know how to do these things. Um, and, and my K value is going to pop right out of there. Okay. All right. Let's look at one. The second one is has to do with Pendula. Okay. And um, so we've got a pendulum. It's on Mars. It's got a certain period. What's the acceleration? Okay. So let's draw a good picture. That thing's going back and forth. Here's my pendulum. It has a certain length there, just like that. And we know that the length is 1.5. All right. We know that the period is 4 seconds. Okay. And it says, what's the acceleration of gravity on Mars? Now, that might seem like, what the heck? We're, how, we haven't dropped anything, right? Nothing fell down. So where did they come up with this, how are we going to grab that out of it? It's okay. Don't let it rattle you. Okay. Just take a look. We know period. It gives us a period. So write down the equation for the period of a pendulum. All right. Always write stuff down because that helps you see, see connections. Okay. And this is square root of L over G. Oh, do you see it? Do you see it now? There it is. Okay. 
there's our acceleration due to gravity. And so it doesn't matter what planet you're on, okay? But there it is, okay? Um, now, once I do my algebra, this is going to turn out to be almost the same result. So we're going to have T, oops. So we're looking at T over 2 pi quantity squared is L over G, okay? So I just did a couple of steps of algebra there. We're solving for G, so once again, yeah, this one turned out to be almost ident to be really identical. Okay, and it's kind of interesting that gravity for a pendulum has the same role as the spring constant in a um, in a spring mass system. So that's kind of interesting. All right, there you go. Okay, so these are all um, these kinds of problems, pretty straightforward for the most part. All right, the problems that I picked out for you um, are like are mostly straightforward. There's a couple they're gonna make you scratch your head for just a little bit, but you know I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't stretch you. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Oh, how do I stop this? <laughs>